Okay, this is order 10414. This is for Ruben in California. This is your mic. I normally don't do videos on these, but this is the last one that I have of the P4 version, which is the 4-pin Cobra unit end style. So, as we can see, it's plugged into the mic tester here, and the RX light is lit. So that's the difference between the DX, which I still have uh, one, two, still have four of those left. The DX, which doesn't have the wire connected to number four, which I think is this one. I'm not sure the orientation on the plug, how it's plugged in. But anyways, if I plug a DX one in, the RX light doesn't light. So that's the only difference. Uh, but you need that for Cobra Uniden CVs, unless you modify them or something like that. Then I think if you do like a talkback modification or something to them, then you don't need that or something. But um, most of my customers... Uh, probably don't run those kind of radios anymore anyways maybe some do but i'm assuming most probably don't so anyways they got the new battery in the mic and I'm just going to show that it works really quick here so test one two test one two three four check check hello one two so working good and i do have some more of these on order so when they become available they will be uploaded or updated on the website to back in stock. I have about four or five left of the six pin also. So that's for you guys that are running like uh, president six pin radios like the McKinley or the Lincoln 2 Plus, uh, the Walker series, the Richard, the Anytone Quad 6, same plug style, that which is the Magnum plug style. Um, not the RCI, there's some differences between the wiring of this one and this one, although they still are both six pin. So there's like five, I think, of those left I'm seeing as I look over there. So four left of the four pin DX and about five left of the six pin, which are called the P6 on the website. So, um, if you're looking for one, they're on a pretty good price right now. I kind of discounted them a little bit to, uh, get rid of them, what was left. So when they come back, I'll have to see what the pricing is going to be. I think more than likely there will be an increase at the wholesale cost that I pay. So we'll have to see. That will that'll be later in the fall, I think around October or something. I'm expecting those to arrive. So uh, the only difference between the ones I'll get newer is the PCB is different now. I've been told that it's going to SMD PCB. So... I'm told that the mic will sound identical. The only difference will be is the board is not through whole component anymore. It's SMD, which I think will be better for a reliability standpoint. Um, I think they'll work much better and, you know, it, more durable. It is a heavy ABS plastic on the outside, but again, anything with through whole components, there's always a chance that it vibration and if it's shaking, say you got in a vehicle and, and you're bouncing up and down in a truck or something and, you know, or it's not clipped on one of those mic clips, there's always a chance that vibration and stuff like that can, can also eventually take out like a solder pad or something or, or make it become a, you know, a cold solder joint or something. So SMD generally never has that problem. So I guess we'll wait and see when I get the new ones in. But uh, this one's ready to ship out to Ruben. So appreciate the order, Ruben. And uh, thanks, everybody, for supporting these mics. I've done really well with them. Um, I would have tried to get more sooner, but unfortunately, they were all out. So, And I had ample stock back when I was informed that they were going to be out soon. So at that time, I didn't need any. Um, but I like to keep a good amount of these on hand. And I'm actually down to, like I say, about four or five of each. So thanks a lot, everybody. And I uh, will have some more of these in the future. Um, so 7-3, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, Ruben.